You know, I've been asked by some of my subscribers to go a little bit deeper as far as my perspective and my opinion on this whole Bill Cosby situation that's going on. And, uh, you know, I've been very neutral only because I feel like a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon of, of certain thoughts and opinions. And a lot of people are not looking at this from a lot of different angles. Now, first of all, let me say, I don't give a fuck about Bill Cosby. You know, um, I respect the guy for what he's done for uh, black television and the things that he, some of the things he's done for the black community. But um, also, you know, there's things about Bill Cosby that I don't like, you know, um, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that don't like it either. As far as his judgment on certain situations, he doesn't understand and um, certain people within our community. Now, I'm not saying that Bill Cosby is always wrong, but at the same time, you have to be thoughtful and mindful about some of the things that you say, especially when you're speaking within mixed company. But. I just want to put that out there. You know, I really don't give a fuck about Bill Cosby. Um, I'm not going to defend him simply because he's a black man. I know there's a lot of people out there with that type of mind frame. But also, I understand that this case, him being a black man does play a part into what's going on out here in the media and how people are um, attacking Bill Cosby. I, I'm not blind to that fact. but um. You know, I've been on social media. I've been seeing all the, you know, these crazy pictures out here. People, uh, you know, basically clowning the hell out of Bill Cosby. I mean, Twitter and Instagram have been lighting Bill Cosby's ass up on fire with these pictures. But, you know, it's just it's crazy how a lot of people just jumping on the bandwagon with a lot of things. But I ran across an article today of Chuck D coming out and basically defending and he's speaking this truth about what he thinks about this whole Bill Cosby thing. Now, we've had Raven Simone come out and defend him, although she kind of was like, uh, you know, she she seemed like she wanted to defend him, but at the same time, she wanted to stay away from it. And then you had Whoopi Goldberg that came out and defended Bill Cosby. And you have other people like, you know, Jill Scott came out, but she basically uh, retracted her statements after we found out that Bill Cosby admitted in 2005 that he did purchase drugs. Now, when we talk about him purchasing drugs, that does tarnish his image. But at the same time, we can't strictly think that, OK, well, because he purchased drugs or he said, you know, he used them um, when involving or engaging in sexual contact with women. That doesn't mean that he purposely bought the drugs for him to go out, drop them in a, in a, in a woman's drink to have sex with. It, it could have been a mutual thing. She could have been like, yo, you know, I, I like the whole Quelo thing. Hook me up, drop it in there. You know, some women do like to be messed up, some guys too. But there are people out there that like to be, you know, quote unquote, fucked up when they're engaging in sex. So we do have to be mindful about that. But, you know, on to real, what I really want to talk about, I ran across this article of Chuck D defending Cosby. And I'm going to go ahead and read you guys some of it. It takes a Twitter verse of millions to hold him back. Public Enemies Chuck D has taken a bad rap on social media since he launched his diatribe against the movement to depreciate Bill Cosby's legacy in the wake of dozens of rape allegations against a scandal scarred comedian. No way I'm defending Cosby, Chuck D tweeted Sunday morning. But this wiping history out with a swoop is akin to Nazi book burning. Context is everything. Phil Spector still plays, the 54-year-old hip-hop legend added, referring to the music producer who was convicted and sentenced to 19 years in prison after murder. Cosby's refusal to openly address the allegations has made it difficult for many to speak openly in his defense, but it became even harder last week when the Associated Press published previously, previously sealed testimonies that Cosby gave for a 2005 lawsuit. The deposition showed he admitted to giving quaaludes to women to get them to have sex. There have been pushes to revoke Cosby's presidential. Yeah, excuse me, pres <laughs> presidential medal of freedom 
and his his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame as more than two dozen women have come forward to accuse the former Cosby Show star of rape and incidents that date back as far as the 1960s. Those would just be the latest high profile hits to Cosby's legacy, most notably the scrapping of a TV comeback by his long term longtime network home NBC. Within minutes of his first post, Chuck D, whose real name is Carlton Douglas Ridenauer, was forced to defend himself from angry detractors who interpreted his stance as a defense of Cosby's alleged actions. Question, do some of y'all start stop listening to Marvin Gaye records because of drug addiction? He tweeted, drawing the comparison to the late soul singer's checkered past. Attempted murder, wife abuse, pedophilia. The rapper continued to go on the offense, especially after he took issue a Hollywood reporter headline that implied his support for Cosby was a blanket one. And then, you know, they show a couple of tweets and I'll leave the um, article in the description box. You guys want to read up on it. But, um, you know, basically Chuck D wasn't defending women being raped or women being um, uh, taken advantage of. He wasn't uh, defending Bill Cosby from that standpoint. What he was saying is that, you know, this is a lot deeper than what it seems. And this is an attack on his legacy. And that's why I say, you know, even though I don't defend somebody strictly because they're a black man, I understand that him being a black man has a lot to do with this case. Now, we got all different artists, movie stars, whatever, white artists and movie stars that have committed murder, have touched on their children, got caught with child pornography, beat, beat on their wife, et cetera, et cetera. And these people are still out here making money, laughing, you know, eating pizza and shit with their kids, going to Disneyland, and it's all good. But see, when just a black man gets accused for something like this, your career is over. They throw you to the wolves. And, you know, like I said, you know, I'm not coming at this this situation from any, you know, biased point of view. Because, like I said, you know, in my other video, this could be all karma for Bill Cosby. Because Bill Cosby has popped a lot of shit over the years. And, like I said, I'm not saying the brother was, you know, all wrong about the things he said. But you have to be mindful about what you say and how you say it. That's very important. Because... People will listen to you more when you come at them with respect, you come at them with love, and you're not wagging your finger at them or pointing at them or, you know, uh, basically making comparisons to them and other ethnicities. People don't like that, especially the black community, because every time we turn on the TV or we open a book or, you know, we, we look at, uh, you know, uh, racist ass Fox News or whatever. Fingers always point at us. Every time we're gunned down the street, you got people talking about well, what about black on black crime. So we get that enough. And when you got, you know, some loud sweater wearing motherfucker that come up there, that's a black man himself, come up there and talk to us like that. You know, people don't accept that very well. But at the same time, you know, I understand that we live in a country where if a white woman come out and say a black man did something, whether he did it or not. You're going to get taken down from, for it. Now, this was 40, 50, 60 years ago. We might see Cosby hanging from a tree somewhere because just the, the, the allegations alone, you're going to catch heat. But, you know, my whole thing is that, you know, um, especially our brothers out here, you know, let's not jump on the bandwagon of attacking Bill Cosby. Now, whether you think, you know, he raped these women or whatever, or you think he's innocent. That's your own personal opinion. But when we talk about the black community just attacking his character and his legacy, I think that's wrong. Because, see, other people don't do that to their stars and, and, and the people that have done things for their culture. White folks don't get that same treatment. And I think that a lot of us are conditioned to attack our own. White person come on and say, oh, yeah, this Negro did something. He, he touched this woman. He raped this woman. He stole something. We automatically believe it. Without really sitting back and looking at things from not only a logical point of view, from, but 
from a historical point of view. And I'm glad that Chuck D, you know, as a black man, he he stepped back and he understand what was taking place. And I understand, I know it's a lot of other blacks out here that understand what's really going on with this case. And there is an attack on his legacy. Now, you know, we truly don't know at this moment what really went down. You know, there, there's there's allegations out there. We we know the thing about the, the 2005 thing, but all you really can hold him to that is that he purchased drugs. You know, we don't know the mindset of a lot of these women out here. These could have been some slutty ass, drugged up women back in the 60s and 70s. And, you know, a lot of guys, you know, sometimes, you know, we want that piece of ass. We'll talk to those type of chicks. Not thinking about the consequence that can come from that. You know, Bill Cosby wasn't always, you know, uh, you know, old dude, you know, that want to, you know, try to even, you know, help our people, whatever. You know, he was once a young dude, too. And you a young dude in your 20s, early 30s. You got, you know, money coming left and right. You might not have the right heads around you that saying, yo, slow down. Don't mess with that over there. Think about your acts. A lot of times these, these cats don't have that. And you do stupid things. You associate and line yourself up with women and people that you don't need to be lining yourself up with. We see the same thing going on with Chris Brown. So, you know, I just think it's important that, you know, us as blacks, you know, all this, uh, you know, people making these pictures and stuff. And I saw one other day they had uh, Bill Cosby in a damn basketball uniform slam dunking, dunking appeal. So, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's hectic out here with these pictures and, and you know, the, the continuously attack on Cosby's image instead of us sitting back and saying, you know what, let's just see how this is going to play out. You know, let's get more facts. Let's not jump on the bandwagon. Or oh, a lot of you know, you know, you black women out there, you guys want to say, oh, Cosby's a rapist. He, he's a rapist simply because you're looking at this only from a woman's perspective. You guys are thinking about, you know, well, that could have been me that got, you know, drugged up on Quay Lloyds or whatever. We don't know the intent and the mindset and everything that went down back when all these incidents happened. Yes, it's 40 women that came out. He could have he could have rightfully did did something with some of these women. OK. But it doesn't mean that it's all. It doesn't mean that it happened the way these women are saying it happened. So, you know, let's be wise about this. Let's be smart and let's think before we start doing things out here and jumping on the bandwagon of, of these Klansmen and Fox News and everybody else that is, is quick to attack and destroy anything that a black American builds. But I'm out. Peace.